Hey everybody, and welcome back to Smashified. I am Chris Sheshel, and with me today I have Mr. Sean Hicks. Hello. And Nathaniel Platier. Hey, hey. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Smashified Trophies. I love this little this little series. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's really great. We I think this is like our eighth one already, or something crazy like that oh, too. Really? Yeah, it's flying by. It's flying. Oh wow. By. Let me count them out real quick. Metaton, Gengar, uh, Salsa, Eve, that wasn't in order, uh, Mecha Drago, and then we have actually other ones that are on the website too, so there's just a, there's a ton of them out now. And anyway, here we are now with uh, Cacletta from Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which is the first in the Mario & Luigi franchise, and this just happens to be Cacletta, the main bean antagonist. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, this one was kind of handled by Sean, not so much anyone else. I did a little bit of cleanup, but Sean, this was your baby. This is the one you came to us and you're like, I'm already doing it. You can't stop me now. <laughs> so, so, so what's up? Why Cacletta? Where did this come from, man? <laughs> well, I, I've been playing the uh, Mario Luigi RPG games again, and I absolutely love the charm. And I was inspired and I thought to myself, you know what? It would be cool to see these 2D characters in the 3D. The art is so beautiful. And I was like, I wanted to start with Kakaleta, mm-hmm. and I figured it would be a good start into doing 3D for the team, as well as partaking in Smashify trophies. So, yeah. Yeah, because you're, you're still pretty new to ZBrush, man. Yeah. To 3D in general. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning, but uh, I'm trying to get there. Yeah. How long did it take you to do that little uh, turnaround, what that was at the beginning of the video, the little 2D turnaround? Oh, the uh, little 2D turnaround? I, I have no idea. Yeah, no, it was cool. I remember you you brought it over to us. And that's when you were really hyped about this. And I was like, wow, well, he's already got a great turnaround. Why <laughs> why stop him now? Like, let's go. Let's bring this thing home. Um, yeah, really great idea for a trophy, and it's awesome because uh, it's a discussion that we have all the time: is what what pose to do with characters in the actual Smash Fight series as well as in the trophy series. And um, with this one, uh, it was obvious. You just had to go with. With her, with her big main pose, like the one. Uh, yeah. This this comes from the uh, official artwork, right, Sean? Yep, that's correct. Yeah. Um, so so I haven't much uh, much like other people, I assume, uh, haven't played this game. Um, I do like the franchise. This wasn't the one that I started off with. I've never played it, but tell us a little bit about Cacoletto. Well, she is a witch that plans to take over the Bean Bean Kingdom, which is a totally new area in the Mario franchise. Um, and basically what she wants to do is steal Princess Peach's voice to be able to make her wish on the Beanstar. It's a, it's such a crazy story, but uh, that's what I love about the game. There's a lot of charm to it. Yeah. No, totally. I mean, I, so I got into the games during uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, and I just immediately fell in love with, with uh, the art style and the aesthetic of the game, because yeah. it's like totally yeah. out there. It's like, it almost doesn't seem like it should be a Mario game. It almost seems like it's yeah. a whole yeah. step outside of it, you know? Uh, they get really kooky and crazy with their concepts and with their storytelling and everything. It's just uh, awesome. <laughs> really good. Really good. And uh, some of the most, uh, honestly, I think it has some of the most humor, like in the Mario universe, period. Like, the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga series, period, just, like, more so than any of the other Mario games, I think, it had the most humor in it, I think, and the most development for even Luigi. Uh, what do you think, Sean? Um, yeah, I would definitely say so. Yeah, I think that the RPG games in general have more room for that sort of yeah. storytelling. Um, yeah, it's 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 kooky, it's crazy. They it was crazy to see them combine Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi for one game. Um, that just seems like such an out there idea. Uh, I don't know. I never played that game, so I don't know how well implemented it was. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure people have strong opinions about it, one yeah. way or another. Um, this, this process was cool. So once the model was kind of sculpted, uh, you started doing a um, poly paint and sort of airbrushing the, the original textures over the model as sort of like a landmark, right? I yeah, like, I like watching this. It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Thank you. Well just, just translating this character from 3D to... Uh, no, to, from 2D to 3D. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun exercise doing 2D to 3D translations. Uh, there's a lot to keep in mind, like how to keep that appeal that the original 2D art had and presenting that into 3D. And not only that, but uh, converting those design principles like line and curves into 3D 
So it's it's really fun and challenging. Yeah, there was a um, so basically all most I think pretty much all of the stuff I did for this besides the render isn't included in the video because all I did was a sort of a retopology and a UV cleanup and and a little bit of uh, just moving of things and when I was doing that I actually took what you had and brought it to sort of a step further like some of some of the proportions was like looking at the uh, official artwork I was like wow maybe one of her uh, either ears or headpieces hair pieces should be a little bit larger than the other one I tilted back further like one of the hands should be a little bit more curled and spiked like a little bit of variation here and there to really bring out that sort of 2D characteristic and bring it over, translate it to the 3D world. Um, totally fun. Totally fun. We got to do more of that. <laughs> yeah, for and, sure. And maybe we, we will do a little bit more of that. I foresee a couple of upcoming characters. I mean, that's what's so exciting about Smash Fight is a lot of the characters we do um, haven't been done in a long time, haven't been made yeah. or translated, never been 3D. Um, so it gives us a lot of room to explore and play and just be awesome artists. So. Speaking of being awesome artists, I would love to talk about the music a little bit because this is yeah. "Come On Again," "Come On Again" by Nathaniel yeah. Platt here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the arrangement, the remix is by, the original is by. Uh, no, no, I'm pretty sure you original. did the original, right? You oh did yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely. were there for this that many years ago. What were you like, twelve at the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I, this is part of my Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga album, which uh, Sean actually did the art for. He did the cover art for that, and he actually did a little animated uh, gif of my character and everything, too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is one of the, probably the earlier songs in my album. I'm about halfway through the entire OST right now. Just remixing all those classic songs. Yeah, just reorchestrating the entire uh, soundtrack, because there's not many remixes of this. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, no, they sound really good. It's great. I'd love to see you Thank go through. You even more. It'd be awesome to get you yeah. to, to go through every every single Mario and Luigi <laughs> franchise uh, title. Um, but yeah, I know, it's amazing how much you've done. And we just Thank knew you. we had to include it. It was, it was a no-brainer. It's, it's a little funny that we were talking about it. A lot of the themes to this uh, game are they're, pretty short. Yeah, they're, they're very short. Yeah, they're hard to... Uh, <laughs> a lot of my songs, I've had to like put a lot of creative liberty because otherwise it would have just been on a 30-second loop or something. Uh, so yeah. It may seem like it's looping a lot in the background, but it, it, trust me, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, no. This when does this when when does this one play in the game? You know, uh, any any boss theme right okay. now. Any the, boss. The one for the one for actually like Kekleta is so unbelievably short that I was just like, no, no, <laughs> I, I can't I can't sit through ten minutes of this. <laughs> um. Since you guys have played the game and I haven't, can you just school me for a second here because I don't know what I'm talking about? What's up with the beans? Why are there bean people? Is this what's going on? What's the beans? <laughs> well, um, they're part of the Bean Bean Kingdom, so they're just kind of is that kind of uh, like a is that kind of like a, a dark version of, of the Mar the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> I, I, I guess I guess so. I guess you could say it that way. Yeah, I mean, there's good Bean Bean people in that uh, yeah. place, but it's just Cacoleta, like Prince Beasley, and it's yeah. just Cacoleta yeah. and Fawful, though, the evil ones. Yeah. Speaking of Fawful, why don't you talk about Fawful for a second? Because a uh, lot of people have been asking us about Fawful, and as it turns oh, yeah. out, you yeah. happen to already make a 3D model for Fawful. So, about Fawful, I wanted a quick practice run before I started doing Smash Bros. Trophies. I wanted to build like a little bit more confidence uh, doing a full-on 3D character by myself before doing recordings for Smash Bros. Trophies. I uh, still got a bit of things to learn, like read topology, but uh, I'm slowly getting there. <laughs> Yep. Mm. But uh, we definitely, uh, I think we definitely planned to team up on Fawful, huh? I think we talked about so, that. So basically, um, we were like, well, well, when we started talking about Fawful, or at least as a team, um, this was well underway, Cacoleta. And we're like, oh yeah, we should we should do another trophy with Fawful. That'd be great, because you know they're awesome. They're great characters, mm. sure. Um, he's one that reappears in like every single Mario and Luigi game, yeah. so he's got a bunch of yeah. different designs. There's cool stuff we can interpret. It seems like a good idea, right? Um, but as it happened, Cacoleta took a little bit longer than we expected, um, so that's going to be pushed off for now. Uh, we had a lot of upcoming characters slated for the next several many weeks, months, and we will probably fit him, slide him in there somewhere, um, but for now, just kind of ride it out and we'll, we'll do the uh, what's planned. Um, of course, we're always still taking suggestions when it comes to characters and, and ideas and trophies, but uh, yeah, Fawful 
might be coming. I don't want to say yes or no. <laughs> don't put me on the spot here. <laughs> um, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to yeah. see that become a trophy. Whether it be an entire episode, which I think it should be, or, or just an asset on the website. And if you're watching this, go to our website, smashfightart.com, and uh, check out the trophies page, because there might be a couple trophies you haven't seen before. There might be a couple that weren't put into full episodes that we kind of just did as one-offs, or two-offs, <laughs> or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. Trophies is more of a really loose, fun series. Actually, this one, uh, we streamed a little bit of it. I streamed a little bit of it. Uh, some of the yeah. retopology in our new little little mini series, uh, Smash Fight Show, which is like a really loose form of uh, Smash Fight Live. Um, so this is this is about to be it. This is me adding Cacoletta's trophy over into uh, Keyshot, uh, the application we use to render every, mostly everything, um, mainly every trophy. And so yeah, it was easy. She had her textures painted by Sean. It looked great, and I just kind of dropped her in. The lighting was already set, and uh, here she goes. So fancy. There we go. Uh, so cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, this is Cacletta. What a good time. Thanks for being here, Sean. And thanks for being here, Thanks. Yeah, man. No yeah. problem. T total blast. I love doing these episodes. They are just so good. So good. <laughs> um, so, those of you viewing, um, good news. We got a Gumroad tutorial uh, coming out in the next several many weeks. Um, and we're going to be posting up there. Sean's brushes will be up there. Uh, a lot of stuff will be up there. So check our Gumroad page out. Totally lots of stuff. Um, if you ever want to do this, there will be tutorials on how to do that. So, um, as well as check out our other series, you know, Splatshine, Smash Fight. Splatshine will come back if you are looking for any bonus content, whether it be models, textures, brushes, a little bit of extended commentary, go over to our Patreon page where you will find all of that and much, much more, I promise you. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>